Hello YT, welcome back to Kazia's Closet. These are six books that I love to read mm -hmm. to my daughter that talks about having healthy self-esteem and loving yourself and you know, just having good self-love. So let's get into the books. Let's start with my favorite. We're gonna jump right into that. So my favorite, favorite book to read to her um, about self-acceptance and self-love is called or titled I like myself. I love, love, love this book. It has like a quirky take on um, accepting yourself for all your quirkiness and all your uniqueness. And um, it is written by Karen Beaumont. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we love this book. Well, especially me, but she likes it too. And it has very nice drawings and, you know, comical drawings as well on the inside. And it's just a great book for um, teaching your child to have self-acceptance and loving them for who they are, which I try to teach. My next favorite book would be I Love You, Stinky Face. And this book is written by Lisa McCourt. And I love this book because it talks about a mother's unconditional love of her child no matter what her child looks like or what weird habits her child has. And she explains to him how much she loves him, you know, despite whatever. It's about unconditional love, which we ought to do to our children. I'm sorry for blocking your face, sweetie. Um, Try to fit the book and have all our faces in the screen. I guess here's a good, um, way to have it so it's titled I love you stinky face and I've had this book since she was a baby I believe um this particular one I got at TJ Maxx I think and we love this book we've been reading it for like four years the next book that I'm going to talk about is another favorite that I've had since she was a baby and it is called let's be happy and this book is written by P.K. Hallinan. I hope I'm pronouncing these author's names correctly. It talks about the concept of happiness despite your circumstances and how to, you know, help others and how helping others help you be happy too. The next book that we have here is called She Persisted, which is a great book if you have a daughter in particular. And it shows about all the wonderful women throughout history that have persisted despite um, difficulties and despite, you know, resistance that they still persevered. Um, I love that they have all types of women from all different backgrounds and all different ages and lifestyles so it's a great book if you have a daughter and this book was written by Chelsea Clinton the next book we have is written by one of my favorite actresses Lupita Nyong'o and it is Sulwi and it talks about appreciating your complexion. We know often when you are a black or African-American or Afro-Caribbean person that um, you are often told that you shouldn't like yourself because of your skin tone. And this book shows this wonderful girl here how to appreciate her lovely dark skin. The last book that I have is called or titled what color am I? I was actually given this book by the author who is Aaron Anthony and it is a book about basically a similar concept of Sulwi and it's teaching a girl how to appreciate herself and her color and all the colors of the world. Um, that's why it has like a butterfly on there and I just love the concept and it teaches her about you know self-love self-discovery and accepting her identity i hope this video was helpful um, the books that i showed are meant to instill self-love and self-esteem a healthy self-esteem in our children and i think that it starts at home so giving them books that you know instill those type of values in them is a great way of teaching your child how to um, have self-love you know to have um, a healthy self-esteem and to just love and have self-acceptance and appreciate themselves so if you like this video 
please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, and come back for more. Um, thank you for tuning in to Kazia's Closet, and I hope to see you in the next one, YT. Do you want to say bye, sweetie? Bye. Bye.